hello hello there so guys uh, welcome to this youtube channel and uh, in today's video we're going to look how we can perform a two way and over using starter so in this video we're going to use uh to, to access the file that is going to be used in this video click file and then go down to example data sets click that one and then you go to example you go to starter 16 manual data set click that one then base reference manual so under ANOVA we are going to use systolic DTA so let's use let me close this window okay so let me type code book so that we can know the type of variables that you have so the first variable we have drug uh, this file is drug used in, and it ranges from uh, from 1 to 4 so you have drug 1, drug 2, drug 3, drug 4 and the next variable is disease that is patient's disease the disease with the patient is suffering from so we have three diseases one two three and finally we have systolic which uh, stands for increment in systolic blood pressure okay now that we know our variables uh, also we can browse so that we have a clear view so here are the values of the variables so in this case, uh, from this, from there, we can see that we have two categorical variables. So our independent variables are drug and disease. Those are our independent variable, and our dependent variable is a, is also a, a, which is a continuous variable is systolic, which stands for uh, systolic. I mean, increment in systolic blood pressure. So how can we perform a two-way ANOVA? So to perform a two-way ANOVA under the command, you are going to type ANOVA. The first uh, variable that you are going to input is our independent variable. I mean our dependent variable, which is increment in systolic blood pressure, followed by our first independent variable or our first categorical variable that is drug. And then second categorical variable disease. And then input uh, and then again input uh, the first independent variable. I mean, yeah, in the first independent variable followed by an hashtag and then the second independent variable okay, have a look at the uh, our command so that is the uh, the command that you input when you are uh, trying to perform a two-way ANOVA so we are going to click enter there we go so we have our results so here is our command and here we have 58 observations we have our R squared we have our root mean sum of squares sorry uh, we have our adjusted r uh, we have a source of variation due to model due to drug due to disease so how can we interpret interpret the results so let's start with the drug so we have a drug uh, with a partial sum of squared degrees of freedom which is three uh, we have uh, Okay, we have our F, <coughs> F value here is 9.05 and uh, the P value for our F under drug is 0 0.001. So in this case, we reject the, the null hypothesis saying that the mean increment uh, in, in stoli, mean increment in systolic blood pressure here, Miguel, here we are going to reject the null hypothesis that the mean increment in systolic uh, blood pressure of drugs of the four drug groups are equal therefore we say that we are going to conclude that at least one of the means is different so we have drug one drug two drug three in this case we are going to reject the null hypothesis that their mean increment in systolic blood pressure is the same or uh, the difference is zero and uh, in this case we are going to conclude that uh, at least one of the of the mean increment in systolic uh, blood pressure of a particular drug group is 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 uh, is different from the other and also under disease we have remember that we said we have three diseases so here we have uh, an, an f value of 1.88 and uh, the p value of that f value is 0 0.1637 Therefore, in this case, we are going we are going to fail to reject the null hypothesis that uh, the mean increment in systolic blood pressure of the three diseases are the same. So, in that case, we are going to reject the null hypothesis. Uh, sorry, we are going to, we have we are going to fail. 
we fail to reject the null hypothesis in this this case and uh, we are going to have it that the mean increment is systolic the difference in mean increment in systolic blood pressure is equals to zero and then the third one we have the interaction effect so the interaction effect uh, we have an f value of 1.07 with a p value of uh, 0 0.3958 so uh, to to measure the interaction effect uh, we are, uh, the, 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 null, the null hypothesis states that there is an interaction effect between drug and disease <coughs> sorry the null hypothesis state, states that this, that there is no interaction effect hear me clearly the null hypothesis states that there is no interaction effect and the uh, alternative hypothesis states that there is an interaction effect. So in this case, we have our p-value as 0 0.3958. 0 0.3958 is uh, greater than uh, is greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, in this case, we are we are going to we fail to reject uh, the null hypothesis because our p-value here is greater than 0 0.5. 0 0.05 so we are going we fail to reject the null hypothesis and uh, say that uh, there is no interaction effect there is no interaction effect therefore this means that uh, the effect of drug on increment in systolic blood pressure does not depend on the effect of disease that is what we mean that uh, by saying that uh, there is no interaction effect Remember, under drug, we, we rejected uh, the null hypothesis uh, because our p-value here is 0 0.001, which is less than 0 0.05. In the other case, we failed to reject the null hypothesis under disease and um, because uh, our p-value is 0 0.1637, which is uh, greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, in this case, we fail to reject the null hypothesis and we have it that the difference in mean increment in systolic blood pressure of the diseases is equal to zero. So under, uh, the next one we have here, we, this, we conclude that there is no interaction effect. We fail to reject the null hypothesis here and say that there is no interaction effect uh, between drug and disease, meaning that the, uh, the effect of drug on systolic uh, or increment in systolic blood pressure does not depend on disease, the effect of disease. So guys, that is how we perform uh, to our ANOVA. So if you have any comment, uh, please co comment below so that we can share ideas. Okay, so please, if you found this video useful, you can uh, click the like button and comment so that you can get your feedback. And subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you. Adios.